Sarah the Vegan Hooper here. So today I want to do a little combo of the week. So basically this is something I've been messing with. Um, a simple thumb switch to go from an inside grip to an outside grip and vice versa. Uh, so if you have a set of twin hoops and you are having a beautiful day, with no further ado, let's jump right in. To begin this, uh, let me explain with one hoop. This will be my right hand. I'm going to have an inside grip. My thumb is pointing up, okay? Uh, the wrist is facing, this is my right hand, and the wrist is facing the left. And the hoop is on my native side. So instead of the hoop starting in front, like I'm going to do in isolation, the hoop will be out on the side of my native side. What I'm going to do is a simple fold um, where you hinge the hoop, okay? So the, I'm going to fold the hoop so that it is now in front of me. Now this hinge, I have an inside grip. Once I hinge it, I have an outside grip. That's pretty dope, okay? So just remember that a simple fold can take you from an inside to an outside grip or vice versa. That's really important with twin hoops, those darn um, surface switches and inside to outside grip so just a simple fold guys I just think that in itself is pretty cool okay so we just hinged or folded the hoop now what I want to do is I want the hoop to go back to where it was all right so what I'm going to do is because I have an outside grip I'm going to stick my thumb into the hoop let go of the hoop and move my arm slightly so that it is back to its side so basically it's swinging on your thumb and then you are grabbing it again. So it's a fold, a thumb, and a grab, okay? Once your thumb is in the hoop and you're kind of pushing it to the side, it is very easy because your fingers are free. You just let go. It's easy to grab it with an inside grip and now your thumb is pointing uh, to the native side, all right? So it starts with the thumb up. You fold it in, thumb up. Put your thumb in, let go of your fingers while moving your hand over to the side, and now grab the hoop, and your thumb is sort of pointed to the side again, or up if you want to think about it that way, all right? So this is what we are doing, okay? This is all we are doing. Now let's discuss the opposite hand. This is my left hand. It begins on my, my left side, its native side, inside grip, thumb pointing up, fold in, okay, and then thumb is already in. Once you fold, you can kind of put your thumb in it right away, and then drag just a little bit and grab, okay? Now this looks like nothing, but when you put it together, it feels cool and it kind of looks cool, especially when you get diagonal with it, so I'll show you in a second, all right? So what is important with this is very straight line so we want to imagine uh, imagine this rectangle in front of us and no matter what we're doing whether it's folding hinging isolating linear isolations we want it in this flat surface like it's a tabletop so that it is giving the viewer or the audience a cool illusion or a trick with the eye okay because um, if you are out of it just a little bit doesn't look as cool as if you are staying in that imaginary line, okay? So we are going to start with inside grip, wrists facing each other. What I'm going to do is simply fold one hoop. This will be my right hand. My right has the purple. I'm going to fold this hoop in. This hoop isn't going to do anything, all right? Then I'm going to stick my thumb in it and drag it to the side. When I drag it to the side, I'm basically doing split time now, guys, okay? Split time is when they're sort of chasing each other, so they're doing it um, opposite, sort of. So I'm about to drag this hoop over, and I'm going to fold that hoop at the same time. Now, as soon as you drag it, it's only on your thumb for a split, split second. As soon as you drag it, grab it, okay? So that thumb is only in there for a split second to get it over there, okay? So inside grip, fold, drag, fold, and then opposite, okay, this one just folded, so it's going to have its thumb stuck in, okay, so this is what the move looks like, and it might not be all roses and beautiful, but if you keep the hoops, if you could see, as close together 
as possible. It looks really cool while trying to keep it in that uh, imaginary rectangle. Unfortunately, I do not have a mirror, so I'm just guessing that it's <laughs> nice and clean, hopefully, for you. So, this is sort of giving you guys some options with the thumb um, in sort of like a surface switch, also with the inside to outside grip. It's all going to help you with um, when you get more into twin tech, okay? Um, so now we're going to go diagonal with it, okay? So what I do to get into this is I begin with uh, these double opposite split time uh, linear isolations. Then I start to go uh, diagonal. So my rectangle, my imaginary rectangle is now turned, okay? And I'm trying to keep my linear isolations nice and diagonal, okay? And once I reach up to the top, I am going to fold my um, right hoop, I am on my right top side, I'm going to fold it in while I complete my um, linear isolation back a hand roll with my left hand, okay? Now I am going to fold this hoop in while I drag my right hoop up with its thumb, okay? And then you can begin this chair's in the way, but then you can begin this cool diagonal pattern, okay? Or the other way, depending on what you're comfortable with, all right? So, if you mastered that, it's quite simple. I want to discuss one more thing that I have been messing with, and I'm kind of obsessed with this, okay? So, I'm going to mess with my right hand for a minute. What I did was a simple fold in, okay? So it's going from its native side with my arm stretched out. My arm's still stretched out, but now I have an outside, now I have an inside grip. Now what I want to do, it's touching my uh, right breast, my right hoop. What I want to do is keep my arm straight. My elbow's been locked this whole time, and I just want to tuck it in my arm like this. So now my arm is stretched out, my hand is on the opposite side of my body, and the hoop is basically in front of me, tucked into my armpit like I'm going for a walk, okay? Now from here, I'm going to unfold um, it and unfold it again. So it's like a double fold, 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 and now it's tucked away, okay? And of course, practice that with your opposite hand. Okay, trying to keep your arm straight the whole time. Okay, now let's mess around with two hoops and we'll try to get this in split time. Okay, so we'll start with um, we were just messing around with this move. Okay, and my right side just did the thumb switch, my left side just folded. Now, what I'm going to do is fold this hoop out, my left hoop out, which is um, on its breast, on my breast. I'm going to fold this hoop out and I'm going to fold my right hoop in. Then I'm going to fold it, tuck it in like we showed, but I'm going to pop my arm out on the opposite side, okay? So now from here I'm going to unfold the hoop and fold the opposite hoop in. Now they're both in the same spot. Then I'm going to tuck on the opposite way, okay? Now once you start playing with this, you could feel what your thumb is doing. Your thumb is easily in the hoop when you um, really tuck this hoop away. So you could easily go from something like this to this to linear isolation simply by sticking your thumb into the hoop. So basically, what this little combo is, is just me explaining how cool the thumbs are in all three of these moves, okay? The linear isolation, into that first folding combo, into the double fold tuck combo, okay? So let's mess around. If you know these double linear isolations, let's mess around with this. Now let's begin folding when we're on the right side. We'll begin the first trick I taught you with the thumbs in. Okay, now I'm back on my right native side. Let's begin this little combo. Now what's important here is to keep your hoops, like I said before, 
as close together as possible. I was showing Monica Pincus this move and I told her I thought it looked kind of cool or maybe it felt cool and I wasn't sure if it looked cool. And she said, yeah, it does look cool, but try to keep your hoops together and it'll look even better. And something that simple can make one trick totally blow your mind rather than eh, just like these double linear isolations. You know, if you're not keeping them in the rectangle, that imaginary rectangle, eh, you know, but if you keep them nice and clean like you're on a tabletop, it totally changes the whole trick, okay? It definitely messes with the viewer's eyes, okay? So I've been obsessed with folds lately, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this little mini combo. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Tag me on Instagram if you have any cool combos that you made with this. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And I hope that you've been practicing those uh, reverse body reels. <laughs> That's what they're called. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I hope that you had a Merry Christmas and I hope that you have a great New Year. I think it's going to be the best year yet. Uh, yeah, so peace. God bless. Mwah.